I think this is a good amount. If we light this and then run a little bit in, because I kind of want to follow it along. Ah, in case that happens, you know, in case I'm not good enough. I mean, me with most things in my life. Guys, I have some adorable new merch. If you want to get your hands on it, click the link in the description for the merch store and check it out. It will only be available for a limited time as we'll be changing some of it out. So if you see something you like, get it while you can. Hi guys, and welcome back to the next episode of Kingdom Craft. So, I was on the server earlier today, minding my own business, having a look around my area, deciding if I should take down the Christmas decorations or not. Spoiler, I haven't. It's just a lot of effort, honestly. It's just a lot of effort. But, I noticed something. So if we go to the surface, you'll notice that like, my area looks fairly normal, except this. There is, for some reason, a large canyon just here. Now you may be like, Scott, it's not that bad. Could be worse. But it in fact is quite bad because there is another one here. Now, I don't have any like actual evidence of who it is that has done these, but I can make an educated guess at the person on the server who likes to make canyons and blow things up. Would you like to take a guess at who it is? Correct, it is Joel, aka Smallish Beans. So, I am actually on my way over to Joel's area because I think I may be able to either get into his base slash do a lot of damage because I've already raided Joel a few times. You know me, master raider here. But Joel kind of forgets that I know his base, like I know where it is. Obviously getting into it and knowing where it is are two very different things. But I think I'll be able to do some damage. Cause I mean, if Joel's gonna do damage to my area, it's only fair that I do it back. Okay, so I wanna do slash F map. And Joel's area has slightly changed from when I raided it last time. But before, basically his base was like down four. So along this line is where it was. And it's probably gonna be nestled like right in here. Now I have two options here. I can either do what Joel does and try and encase the entire area, or I can dig down. Now I think I maybe want to try digging down. I feel like that could lead to more interesting stuff. I also have this new pickaxe, which is efficiency seven, which maybe feels quicker, I don't know. How many of you are getting like anxiety at the moment because I'm just digging straight down in Minecraft with all my stuff? Okay, we're at bedrock. That actually wasn't as far down as I thought it was going to be. Like, it's quite far, but it wasn't awful. Okay, so I'm going to grab a couple stacks of my TNT and now we're just going to build all the way up, light it, and just see what the damage is. So we're using like a stack and a bit. I need something to light it. I don't, I don't actually have anything. Um, you know me, I'm a resourceful queen. Oh, no, we need to run away from that. I'll stand over here. Okay. Okay, we made a good dent, a good cavern. Just gonna throw an ender pearl down. Here we go. Yeah, so Joel's base is like this way, like directly this way. I have made a mistake. I've came down here and I'm not quite sure how I easily get back up. You know, I didn't quite think it through. Yes, we're just towering up. Note to self, do not eat yourself down giant chasms that you just blew up. Well, seeing as that didn't get me in anywhere, maybe I will take a lesson from Joel. And what I might do is just kind of go round his claim and place like TNT every kind of like few blocks. Okay, how far out does Joel come this way? Quite far apparently. Joel, where are you going in this direction? Why'd you come out this far? I think I might start going the other way. I said I know roughly where the base is, so I don't want to go too far in one direction. Okay, so I think this is the block. I'm hoping this all like reaches, you know? This takes for ages. How does she do this to like everyone? How large is this? Jesus, je suis. I hear a dog, why? Hello? Oh. Are, are you a wild dog? Yeah, I think you might be. Might not want to be here, bud. There's going to be a large explosion. I mean, I think this will be an explosion that Joel would be proud of. I think he will respect it. I'm using like four stacks here. Well, here's the Mesa. I kind of don't want to blow up the Mesa bit. I mean, this is a good amount, you know? I think this is a good amount. If we light this and then run a little bit in, because I kind of want to follow it along. 
Ah. In case that happens. You know, in case I'm not good enough. I mean, me with most things in my life. I mean, that's not going to set it off. Okay. That should set it all off. Okay. Wow. Ah! Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Look at this. She going? I just occasionally need to kind of help it a little bit, but it's fine. I'm still doing the work. It's just maybe not as domino effect as we would like, but it's okay. Please be Kate. I am attempting to blow up a giant canyon. Oh, come on! Really? Really? Ugh, fine. If anyone is wondering where my bow is to light it, I'm saving that because it's almost dead and I'll need one more level to repair it. So it's back at the base until I can repair it. Also, I think I'm gonna go home, sleep, and then come back because otherwise we're just gonna be annoyed. Okay. Okay. That's... The issue is, is it's like, it sometimes falls, so then it doesn't like reach the, the next one. Okay, the next one's only like two places apart, so. Like it does that, it falls down and then doesn't go off. Oh. Wow. Ah! ah! That thing just flew at me. Okay, there we go, we're getting a good chain. Okay, this is a good canyon. Look at this. It goes all the way around here, down here, then it goes around this way, all the way down here. This must be like the longest canyon on the server. Like I know Joel is slowly making Joel's Canyon in the desert and it's getting wider and wider, but like this must be the longest one. Cause I mean, we're still not done. Like it still has to go back up here, round here and all the way up here. Look, and it ends at the Mesa. But I mean, if we look at F map, I basically started a canyon from here all the way around there. Like all of this is now a canyon. I just know Joel's base is like anything in here. It's like literally Joel's base is pretty much like here. Just here down. But unless I'm sitting building a TNT cannon, I'm not getting to it. But I think I've sufficiently got my revenge. I have blown up a load of stuff. He now has a massive canyon all the way around his land. I mean, Joel's land was already going through some stuff. Like, I really was kicking it while it's down, but it's also what Joel deserves. I've also given him a nice little water slide. You know, you can just slide down that all the way to the bottom. You're welcome, Joel, honestly. I'll send you an invoice for the water slide and the moat, you know, the moat Joel definitely asked for and wanted. Okay, but now I need to go and find some way of getting experience to get enough levels for 33 to repair my bowl. You know, I might just randomly dig down in Joel's area, tell him at like redstone level and hope for the best. Because A, I'm getting the levels I need. B, I'm taking stuff from Joel's area, so it's always good. Okay, we'll do that over here. I'm going to do the slightly safer digging down where you like stand in between two blocks. Oh, there's some coal. That gives me some experience. More coal. Ideally, I want like redstone or lapis just because it gives off more, but this is fine for now. The game hears me say that and it's like, oh, you say you want more coal? Okay, here's more coal. Don't get me wrong, I can sell it so it's not the end of the world, but oh, we're at lapis. We're at bedrock now. All right, we're just tunneling, I suppose. I'm gonna start just like digging towards Joel's base, just in the off chance that I happen to stumble across anything. Oh, we're at 33, that was all I needed. Actually, you know what, I've changed my mind. We're not, we're not doing that. Let's go home. We'll grab the bow and the Merida bow from in here. Pop that in with that. 33, fully repaired Merida bow. I also kind of want, do I have unbreaking? I'm not sure if adding unbreaking to this bow is going to be possible, but we'll see. Turns out I don't have unbreaking, so we won't be adding that. 
We also need to replenish our TNT stocks at some point because I just used a bunch to make a canyon. I mean, I wouldn't say we accomplished a whole lot, but I did get revenge and that's all that matters. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Kingdom Craft. We managed to make a whole heck of a lot of explosions go off in the Burge Kingdom. We made the longest canyon or chasm on the server. I will hold that title. I am quite happy with it. Not the widest, but definitely felt like the longest. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like. Comment down below with some other ways and ideas I can get back at the other people on the server. Remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you do not miss a video and I will see you all next time. Bye.